Okay, so I wanted to show you on a CAT 299D3 how they depressurize the lead hoses. Um, it's important to depressurize the lead hoses, especially on uh, cylinder attachments like grapples, because what can happen is you can get pressure that's uh, built up in the lines if you clamp them really tight and then disconnect the couplers. So what they have here is a valve block with a little hand valve in it that you can pull out and then push to the side and that will uh, depressurize each of these ports. And you wanna do that before you disconnect the couplers. After you depressurize the valve block, you can then disconnect the lead hoses from the couplers themselves. So after you depressurize the lead hoses, you're safe to disconnect the couplers. And it's a good idea to connect them together for a few reasons. One is that with changes in environmental temperatures, you can get um, expansion of the hydraulic oil and that'll make it hard to get the couplers reconnected. Um, this ensures that the pressure will be equalized well on either side of the cylinder piston. Also connecting them together helps keep the couplers uh, clean and also safe from damage. So the Caterpillar uses this style valve to depressurize, but there are some other brands out there that use a style of coupler where you push on the coupler itself and then it slides, and that's what vents the pressure to the K-strain line. But if you have a, an older skid steer that doesn't have a system like this, what I like to do is before I disconnect the hoses, I make sure that I haven't clamped pressure in the grapple or the attachment itself. I like to close it and then open it up just a half an inch or an inch to make sure that the pressure stays somewhat equal on either side of the, the cylinder piston. <laughs> 